Welcome, guys, to another section of the Prompt Engineer Series tutorials. Um, this is actually the part three of the AI Prompt Engineering Series. Um, this particular section or tutorial is going to focus on logical errors in um ChatGPT. Um, actually, we know that um there are certain um ways that if you so, or if you ask the AI to, to provide you with some responses and you go through um you go through the response that you have received, you realize that um there are some errors in the response generated. So um how do you then correct the errors? But before we correct such errors with regard to prompt engineering, um this section I'll just uh, demonstrate to you some logical errors, especially mathematics, um, some errors identified. And in the other section or tutorial, we will focus on um, the prompt engineering aspect that you can use to correct those um, errors, okay? All right, so let's look at this um this particular question that i'm about to push in there so then i'm going to show you the answers and we will compare the response from the ai2 and that of the answers that i'm going to show you so um we are expecting the ai2 to, to provide these answers the first one is 104 millisecond. Then we have the B, um, we have 203. The C, we have 1103. All right. So let me just uh, dump the question over here. So that's the question over here. So a part in the data circuit switch network has a data rate of one megabit per second and blah, it continues the exchange of 1,000 bits is required for the setup and the teardown faces. Yes, actually, this is a this is a pure network question, um, advanced data communication, but it still comes down to the logical aspect of this uh, generative AI tool. So whether you are using the AI tool to solve any mathematical question or model, being it a geometry or whatever mentioned, um, once it comes out with some um errors or some responses that you feel like it is not accurate how then do you correct it so let's see the response that we are going to get for this we are supposed to the a side is saying that what is the total delay of thousand bits of data exchanging and the b what is the total delay of actually want to compare the uh, the error yes yes we 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 just want to compare the response to the right um, answers that I showed you guys earlier on. Okay, yeah. So um, let's hit enter and let's see how. Okay, so we waiting for the AI to provide us with the solution. We do a comparison with what we have. So the A part, we are supposed to look at for the total delay of 1,000 bits of data exchange during the data transfer fees. Then the B part, um, that is 100,000 bits. The C part is 1 million bit. Okay. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, the D part, Okay, so for what we have over here, total delay of 1,000 bit. Um, that's what we see by step one, step two, step three, step four, calculate the total delay, and that's the final answer. This is what we have. Okay, let's move to the B. The B we have, okay, 0 0.152 seconds. Okay, then the C, we also have 1.052 seconds. All right. Fantastic. Now, um, let's do a comparison with what we have over here. Okay, so you realize that um, 
<laughs> different answers. Yeah, different answers. So even if you convert this one to milliseconds, what do we have over here? The that is the the zero point five three seconds to what do we have over here? The MS, you, you are actually not going to get 0, 104. You are not. You are not going to get 203 for that. You're also not going to get uh, 1103 for what we have over here. That is for the C aspects. Okay. So, yeah, you can. Um... So, how then do we correct it? Yeah. That is the question. How then do you correct this? You see, so even if you check what we have over here is a uh, MS. If you want to check this particular answer, the final answer here is a uh, zero point zero five three seconds. Okay, let's see. Convert. Um, convert what we have over here to MS. And let's see what we have. Okay, so what are we getting over here? We are getting um fifty three milliseconds. And as I showed you earlier on, the answer should have been um, one zero four milliseconds. So there is a way that you can engineer your problem so that you get a correct answer or the right answer. Um, it means that you are you are um telling the AI to think in the right direction, that is uh, logically accurate. So how then do you um, come up with a prompt or ask something to your question so that you are going to get a right answer? Okay, so that section will be in our next tutorial and um, just watch that one and Remember, we are supposed to get the 104203 and 1103. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.